Scottish club champions Ayr, supporting the Scotland club international team against Ireland. Premier 2 champions Dundee High Rugby Club and their sponsors Thorntons are delighted to support Scotland in the club international against Ireland. Tonight we're at Myleside in Edinburgh for the club international between Scotland and Ireland. Scotland come into this one having lost by just a point in Rouen in France a couple of weeks ago. And Ireland, well, they drew with England. Home advantage has always favoured the sides in this international. Ireland winning in Dublin, Scotland winning in Edinburgh. We'll see if it goes that way tonight, but I tell you what, I think it's going to be pretty close. Ireland led out by Skipper Hugh Hogan of St Mary's College in front of an enthusiastic crowd at Myerside and a big cheer for the Scot led out by John DL of Melrose Damien Kelly running out there he's been in this game before so has Paramuel's Angus Martin a mixture of experience and new faces on the Scotland side and after 8 minutes that throw over the top reaching Ross Weston knocking a couple of players out the way and then Oh, the champion of this serious dunt, Damien Kelly, thundering up to the Irish 22, laying the ball back, AJ McFarlane, out to Scott White, the ball going to ground, saved there by Scott Sutherland, salvaged by Angus Martin, out to Dougie Brown, looking back, looking for that wee bit of space, still on the Irish 22, McFarlane, again out to, this time Scott Sutherland, the Scots, just going through the phases, wee bit of patience, and finally, Fraser Harkness up in the line, thundering one there by Kelly, and Harkness, where did he come from? Lovely wee pop pass, puts the Selkirk full back in under the post for Scotland's opening try after eight minutes. Oh boy, did he enjoy that one. Scott White, no problem with the conversion. And in the first quarter of an hour, the Irish looking a wee bit nervous, but then they settled into their game. And after 20 minutes, this move, Rory Cushion to Barry Cushion, Cushion, back to Cushion. And Derek Corker and the man in the line. The winger running a good straight line there, but a bit of a scrappy ball coming out, didn't matter. Penalties the referee, David Jones. Upstep Barry Cushion and the Dolphin, number 10, no mistake. The first chance to get Ireland on the board. Seven points to three to Scotland after 20 minutes. Fraser Hartness, delicate wee chip ahead, and whoop, an awful guddle by the Irish defence. And Angus Martin, oh, almost decapitated there. Play on to the referee, advantage Scotland, Sutherland taking it on. Elliot McLaren laying the ball back, nothing happening. So, penalty to Scotland, and after 23 minutes, Scott White stretched the lead to 10 points to three. There's never a lot in it in these games between the Scotland and Ireland club sides, and the Irish, only two minutes later, showed what they could do with some decent possession. Cronin Healy coming in off his wing there, and... Taking the ball up to Scots 22, taken out by Angus Martin. And then a terrific pick-up, and look at the power of that big man. Barry O'Mahony from Dolphin, shrugging off the tackles. And in for Ireland's first try. And with Keishan lining up the conversion to tie the scores. After 25 minutes, straight through, no problem. 10 all, and game on. And the half hour mark, the Scots again piling on the pressure. Terrific scrum there. Real pressure in the front row. Penalty Scotland, White, no problem. 13 10. Going into the last 10 minutes, a kick testing. Barry Jones there. We fumble and tried to run out of it, then tried to kick his way out of it, but wasn't working. And referee David Jones. Spotting a Scott, getting offside, playing advantage to the Irish. No advantage coming. Keishan, not the easiest of kicks, but again, straight through the middle. 13 all. 
And that was the half-time score. I said it was going to be close. Scottish club champions, Ayr. Supporting the Scotland club international team against Ireland. Premier 2 champions Dundee High Rugby Club and their sponsors Thorntons are delighted to support Scotland in the club international against Ireland. With the scores tied going into the second half, the first score was going to be important. The Scots putting on the pressure on the set piece again. Great run there by AJ McFarlane out to Angus Martin. Martin committing the Irish defence. The Scots arriving in numbers. McFarlane to White. Dougie Brown to Malcolm Clapperton, and, well, who's that lurking in his shoulder? That man again, Fraser Harkness, in for his second try. Wonderful support run by the Selkirk fullback. Scott White, that one, delta of a kick. Taking the Scots into a 20 points to 13 lead after only three minutes of the second half. And the Irish weren't going to take that lying down. He started to turn the screw on the Scots defence. The Scots a man short with Pat McCarthy in the sin bin. And despite the fact the pillars there, no hiding from the fact that the Irish got over the line and the man who got the try, Kevin Moran, of that wonderfully named Irish club, Buccaneers. 51 minutes gone. A very crafty kick there by Scott White, putting Derek Corcoran in a bit of bother. His clearance straight to McFarlane, McFarlane to Hartness, Hartness hoisting it back into that corner. And this time, oh, a bit of a guddle by Cronin Healy and the man to pounds. Oh, give him a sniff of the line. And Angus Martin is your man. Well, again, approaching the final quarter. Scots seven points ahead and just beginning to sense that this could be their night. McFarlane to Kelly. Kelly. Knocked over, but laying the ball back. And the Irish getting a wee bit over enthusiastic penalty, said David Jones. Thanks very much, says Scott White. Hangs over another one. 28 points to 18. And the Scots now more than a score ahead. And that was a lead they held into the final five minutes. Again, the pack putting the pressure on the Irish. The Irish giving away yet another penalty. And Scott White stepping up and nailing his fourth penalty of the night. A vital contribution to the Scots effort. The Irish, well, they were never, ever going to give up. And going at the Scots right to the very end. We knock on there. Knock on with the Scots. That's it to the referee and the Scots arms raised aloft. Yet again, home advantage. And the pride of playing in front of your own crowd meaning so much to the Scots as they run out winners, 31 points to 18. I think the guys that played in France, you know, we were so unlucky not to get a win there and we were sick of people saying great result, you know, it's not a great result when you lose and uh, tonight was, you know, the performance was there and, you know, what a great start to the weekend. We knew it was our last chance to salvage something, make it a success this year and proud to everybody. I, mean, I thought every man for a man were the better team. A couple of, you know, poor, slid off a couple of tackles, gave them a couple of soft tries, but over the part I thought we were the, we were the better team and uh, it was a great bunch of guys. I mean, that, that shows you what Scottish club rugby's got. There's a lot of talent in there. You can see just how much it means to these boys. Club players wearing a Scotland jersey. I think the, the pride, you know, just to have been in the team meeting, uh, you know, beforehand, just seeing how special, you know, they know that, you know, people all over the country can relate to these guys, they know them, uh, and, you know, the number of supporters getting here tonight from clubs all over the country and getting behind them, and uh, that was a pretty special night for these lads. A special night indeed for the Scots, winning again on home soil in the club international against Ireland. My goodness, it means so much to these boys from both sides, club players, wearing an international strip. Yet another thrilling club international. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at Myerside. Scottish club champions, Ayr. Supporting the Scotland club international team against Ireland. Premier 2 champions Dundee High Rugby Club and their sponsors Thorntons are delighted to support Scotland in the club international against Ireland.